Hello everyone. So there's been quite a few changes to the snipers in Phantom Forces this year, and I thought it'd be a good idea to make an updated top five best snipers list, because snipers now are a lot better than they used to be. So I'm gonna be ranking them based on how good I think they are, but obviously ranking guns is pretty subjective, so I'm curious to know what you guys think as well, but let's get into it. And number five, we have the Hecate. As you probably know, the Hecate is one of the most powerful snipers in the game because it has the ability to one shot to the torso at all ranges. It also has good muzzle velocity and high penetration so you really don't have to worry about bullet drop or walls really because it can shoot through just about anything but the thing that makes the Hecate so good for a one-shot sniper is the fact that it has a seven bullet mag and can shoot at 28 rpm so as you can see in the gameplay footage even though it's slower than a lot of the other snipers you can actually use it at a fairly fast pace if you stay patient so for me the best way to use it is just to pick a spot that has good amounts of cover but also plenty of angles to peek and just try to pick people off one by one while taking cover between shots this way you don't really have to worry too much about having a slower fire rate because you're not trying to get kills as fast as possible you're just taking your time and making sure you don't die in my experience this strategy works extremely well because you don't have to worry about headshots so getting each kill is pretty much as easy as it gets as far as snipers go and you just got to make sure that your spot doesn't have too many angles that you could be getting rushed from very easily because the one downside to this gun is that it still remains pretty slow if you have any sort of close range encounter so i'd recommend using the deagle or like another secondary you're comfortable with to kill anyone that gets too close to you because trying to do it with the hecate is probably not a good idea and number four we have the mosin the mosin is more of a fast paced headshot sniper so it requires a bit more skill than the Hecate but it's still really fun to use. It has a 70 RPM fire rate and good muzzle velocity so it's very good at getting a lot of kills very quickly as long as you can hit headshots. But if you can't hit headshots then you don't have to worry too much because it does have a sweet spot one shot torso range from 70 to 120 studs making it very ideal for panic sniping at medium range when you just can't get a headshot. Usually when I use the Mosin I like to move around the map and try to feel out where the enemies are spawning so I can get a little bit closer but sometimes like in the footage you're seeing there's just a lot of people in the same spot and you can just get a lot of kills over and over without really needing to move but because it's really fast it does require you to be constantly alert and looking for enemies quickly so if you're not doing that then you're probably not using the mose into its full potential maps like desert metro and crane site are especially good for it because the enemies are usually the ideal distance away from you which is about 70 to 200 studs the mosin also has an 8 millimeter conversion which allows you to one shot to the torso up to about 120 studs. It's definitely one of the best options for close range sniping due to how fast it is and how far it can one shot. So being able to choose the type of playstyle you want to have while using it makes it nice and versatile. At number three, we have the SVDS. The SVDS is a semi-automatic sniper with a fire rate of 280 RPM, so it's one of the fastest paced snipers in the game. The really impressive part about the SVDS is the fact that despite how fast it shoots, it still has a one-shot torso range from about 34 to like 77 studs, which is really not the greatest range, but it does come in handy more than you would think when people get close to you. And it also shoots so extremely fast that in most cases, you can just kind of use it as a DMR and two-tap people to the body without having to worry about hitting any headshots. It does indeed one shot to the head at all ranges though, so if you're able to hit headshots quickly, then it's one of the deadliest snipers in the game. But the main downside to this gun is that although the stats are amazing, it's kind of hard to use due to the clunky handling. I can't really describe it too well, but the gun has so much sway to it and the recoil takes so long to recover. So most of the time while you're using this, you have to kind of get used to the way it moves and adjust your aim accordingly to actually hit people. If you want to double down on the headshot sniping though, this gun does have a really weird conversion that increases your fire rate and muzzle velocity, making it probably the most capable headshot sniper in the entire game. It's really hard to use, but it's very good. At number two, we have the WA-2000. The WA-2000 was already good before they buffed it, and now they buffed it, and it's insanely good. So with a 300 win mag conversion, it's able to one shot to the torso up to 80 studs with a 250 RPM fire rate, and much better recoil than the SVDS. Not to mention, it has 3100 muzzle velocity, so it's five at long range, medium range, close range, you name it. The one and only issue with it is that it only has five bullets per mag, but to be honest, the rest of the stats make up for it by a long shot, so it's not really that big of a deal. In my opinion, the best way to use this gun is to play on close range maps 
or at least maps with a lot of close range encounters, but also leave the option open for sniping at long range just because you can. So the typical maps like Metro and Desert are really good for the WA 2000. I was playing on Black Sight and that's also really good. All you really need to do is run around and click on people. It's super fun. And the great thing about it is that it's a lot easier to not lose gunfights and die compared to the other snipers because you can just get so many shots in that you could literally empty your entire mag in the same time it takes to shoot and bolt the intervention. Anyways, I would definitely recommend the WA 2000 if you have it. I know a lot of people don't have it because it's high rank, but yeah. Speaking of high rank, I'm just going to give a quick honorable mention to the intervention. It's a really good sniper that literally everyone has and it could easily be on this list to be honest. I just find the rest of these ones to be a little bit more rewarding just because they pretty much all kind of specialize in a certain category. The intervention is just a super well-rounded sniper with a really far one-shot torso range and pretty good everything else. So honestly for less experienced snipers it'll probably be the better option than most of these other ones just because it's easier to use. All right now the best sniper in the game. Are you ready for it? It's the M107. What can I say? This gun is just an absolute masterpiece. In my opinion, it's easily the best sniper in the game because it can shoot basically as fast as you need it to with 250 RPM, and it can one-shot torso up to 250 studs and beyond. It's like 255. And not to mention, you can put on the extended mag to give it 10 bullets and still have like decent handling. It's obviously not the quickest sniper in the game, but you can still move around with it fairly well. In fact, my preferred way to use this gun is actually to be very active and moving around the map. I mean, you could certainly camp with it if you want to but some spots don't work super well because you have to headshot if you're shooting people past 250 studs so staying towards the middle of the map so that you're within that range is definitely a good idea in my opinion and even though it does so much damage the recoil is actually pretty manageable even with the extended mag it does take a little bit of getting used to but once you figure it out you can do just about anything with it i mean i'd say the biggest disadvantage to the sniper is actually just the reserve ammo because you only get two mags of reserve ammo if you use the extended mag so going on longer kills streaks with it is kind of hard for that reason but it's not a super huge downside especially with how good all the rest of the stats are and yeah overall i just think this is the best sniper in the game and to me it's not even close but anyways that's my top five best snipers list again i'm really curious to hear what you guys think and which snipers you would include that i didn't honestly most of the snipers in this game are pretty good and a lot of it just really comes down to preference but anyways i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later goodbye